to color animation using GIMP, you need GIMP, GIMP, and Expert Layers plugin. To download GIMP, you have to go to GIMP.org, download, and choose directly. As for GIMP, go to GIMP.eu, download GIMP plugin for GIMP, and choose 64 or 32-bit. Expert Layers is a GIMP plugin. You can go to its GitHub and download the latest table release. GIMP and GIMMICK are fairly straightforward installations, but as for export layers, as it says in the readme, you should copy some of the given files to see users, username, GIMP 2.8, plugins, and you're ready to go. So to color, I have this set of PNG sequence with alpha transparency, and to color we will use GIMP. If your layout is in like this, you can choose Windows, single window mode, and arrange it accordingly. File, open as layers, choose the folder, control A to select all of them and open. So if you go to the layers tab, you can see all the images have been imported. Click filters, gimmick to start coloring. Black and white, colorize interactive. These are all right. In input type, you can choose line art in output type if you want the color and line art in the same layer you can choose colorized image but i usually use image plus colors so that i can compose the colors later view resolution very high to be on the safe side and more instructions to use it are written over here click ok so now we have our image and a color selector choose any color you like and left click to set a color point So we choose a color, left click, left click, choose a color, left click, right click to delete a color point and spacebar to test preview. Okay, so now we can see there are some areas that are not colored properly. So you can right click to select a color and put the same color point elsewhere and spacebar to test. So now even the areas with gaps are filled somewhat but we can still correct them by adding more control points and refining them. And if you would like to change any color you can right click to select it and hit R. And you can scroll through and change as you like and click anywhere to set it. When you are happy with the outcome hit enter. And now we can see we have the line layer and the color layer separately. If you hide and unhide the line layer, we can see if there are any mistakes. We can see that we haven't colored this properly and this. So we'll delete this color, choose the line again and choose filters, reshow or repeat gimmick. Reshow gimmick and over here you can see an option clear control points. If you click it all the previously set control points will be cleared so that you can have a fresh start but now I don't need it so I'll click OK. And there we have the previous control points. And here we can see the mistakes, so we'll correct them. Right click, left click, left click, space bar to test. Right click, left click, space bar to test. And this seems fine, so hit enter. And there we have it. If your line out was into PNG with alpha, you could choose mode multiply to see the line over the color. But for us, it's fine. And we can delete the line layer. Now we can make a palette. This is not a necessary step, but if you have long animations or if you are coloring your animation after a while, it will be very useful. So go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs and choose Palettes. And over here we can make a new palette for our animation. Click Create a new palette. We will select our colors using the Color Picker tool. Select a color, Add, select another color, Add, Select, Add, Select. Add, select, add. And we can set the number of columns you want. We can give it a name, face, and you can save it. It gets saved in C, uses, your username, GIMP 2.8, and palettes. But I usually copy it into the folder I am working on so that I can find it later. Now let's hide this color layer, choose the next line, and filter, reshow gimmick. And now we can make use of this option. 
of adding a palette. We can also grab color from a PNG file, but I prefer the palette workflow. And I will go to our folder, choose the palette, hit OK. And now you can see we have a new palette window in addition to our previous color selector. And since we hadn't hit the clear control points button, we still have all of our previous color points. We can rearrange it as we like, delete whatever we don't need and hit space to test and keep working on it till you're happy with the result. And when you're happy, hit enter. So same as before, check whether the coloring is fine. If you're happy with it, delete the line layer, hide the color layer, select the next line art. Now you can repeat our visual gimmick and I'll clear control points just to show how the palette can be used. Clear control points, ok. So now here we have the blank image and we can choose our color from the palette directly. Click, click and select. And space to test. And you can keep adjusting till you are happy and hit enter when you are ready. And you can turn the line on and off to check if it's fine. Delete the line layer. And now that we have all the color layers ready, we can finally export it. And here we use the export layers plugin. So file, export layers. And we'll create a new folder. We go to color. SPNG. And there are more advanced settings which we don't need right now. Export layers. These also seem fine. Export. And you can see the colored lines here, which we can compose it with the lines later. Thank you. That's it.